Hello and welcome to GrassyMath.com where math is for everyone. Today we're going to take a look at uh, using x and y intercepts to solve an algebraic equation. So let's get started. Alright, so in the example problem we have here we're reviewing for our TSI and they love to ask about keyword vocabulary. So let's read the question. In the xy plane uh, which basically means graph paper. Okay, so don't be intimidated by these words. That means a piece of graph paper. In the xy plane, what is the y-intercept, that's a key word for sure, of the graph of the equation below? Okay, so what will be the y-intercept? Well, if you've studied algebra, you know that on the y-intercept, you're going to have a value over here. It's a y-value. Okay, so there you would put some y-value. Some, some teachers teach it as y and other teachers teach it as b. Okay, but it is going to be a y value. However, you do know uh, that the number on the left is going to be zero. On the y intercept, x is always zero and there's a y value on the right. But in this case, we know something here. We know that x equals zero. And if we know that x equals zero, what we can do is a very simple strategy that's very, very useful for your TSI or any other exam, uh, which is substitution. In other words, I can change one of my letters from this equation to a number. So let's do that. I'm going to change the number x to the number 0 because I know that x equals 0 because of the keyword y-intercept. Okay. Uh, so now 14 times 0 makes 0 and I get negative 12 plus 3 why? Okay, so now what am I going to do? Well, I want to have an answer that looks like y equals something because it's asking me what will be the y-intercept. It's asking what number would go here. So I want a number that looks like y equals a number. Well, I don't have that at all right now. So what I'm going to do first is make the y be on the left. 3y minus 12 equals 0. You're allowed to flip terms around just like I just did as long as you keep the signs correct. So positive 3y, positive 3y. Negative 12, negative 12. Equals, equals, 0, 0. I changed nothing. All I did was flip that equation over. Okay, so now, look, it's getting closer to looking like this. The y is on the left. And now what am I going to do? Well, I want to get the y term by itself, and I want to have numbers on the other side. So letters on one side and numbers on the other side. So let's take that 12 and move it over here. At this time, it's worth mentioning that the equal sign is basically the king of opposites. Uh, positive and negative are opposite. Multiply and divide are opposite. And squares and square roots in high school become a big factor. Uh, so they are also opposites. In this case, when I cross the equal sign, I need to change it. I need to change it from negative 12 and make it be positive 12 because that's the opposite. It keeps things equal. All right, now I see 3 times y equals 12, but I want y to be alone. Well, I'm going to look at my map again and see that 3 is multiplying with y. So in order to get rid of multiplying with 3, I have to divide by 3. And on this side, I will also divide by 3 because every teacher in the whole world has probably said a million times if you do it on one side you have to do it on the other okay so y equals 12 over 3 12 divided by 3 is 4 so my final answer is y equals positive 4 that would be answer C and we are done alright so today we learned how to use the y-intercept to solve an algebraic equation there's one other keyword I should tell you, which is x-intercept. It has nothing to do with this problem whatsoever. But if you did see it in a problem, you would know that instead of x being 0, on the x-intercept, you're going to have an x value on the left, and 0 will be on the right. So that means that you would then substitute 0 for the y value instead of the x value. Okay. So this is just special knowledge to throw in there at the end. Just in case you see a problem that says x-intercept instead of y-intercept, you'll probably say, what should I do? In that case, just put y equals 0 instead. All right, so today we learned how to use these keywords, x-intercept and y-intercept, to solve algebraic equations. And we were able to get an answer uh, in a relatively short period of time. So thanks for watching. I hope you learned something today. 
And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and to visit the website at www.grossymath.com.